Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body. Type 1 collagen is a major structural component of skin, bone, tendon, and other tissues across the body like lung, liver, cornea, and blood vessels. To create an in vivo-like environment, cells can be cultured on collagen-coated plates, inside collagen hydrogels, or inside collagen bioinks. Due to natural cell binding sites like RGD peptides, collagen is often mixed with other biomaterials that lack these binding sites, such as alginate and hyaluronic acid. Today, we'll be examining collagen structure, properties, rheology, cross-linking, common assays, and advanced biomatrix's portfolio of collagen biomaterials. Collagen exists naturally as a hierarchical structure of alpha helices containing large portions of glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline, with an approximate molecular weight of 300 kilodaltons. These alpha helices are wrapped into triple helices, fibrils, fibers, and fiber networks. Collagen is typically extracted from a wide variety of sources, such as cowhide, rat tails, porcine tendon, or purified from human fibroblasts. Typically, you can extract the collagen using an acid or with an enzyme. Collagen extracted with an acid will result in telocollagen, meaning it has the telopeptide portion of the collagen molecule intact. When extracted using an enzyme, the collagen molecule is cleaved at the junction of the triple helix domain and the telopeptide. The resulting collagen is known as atelocollagen. Telocollagen, with the telopeptide domain intact, will be able to form 3D hydrogels much more quickly and stronger in nature than ones formed with atelocollagen, which lacks the telopeptide domain. Some researchers prefer atelocollagen for the increased working time or improved cellular permeability. At Advanced Biomatrix, we pride ourselves on quality, reproducibility, and availability of our product. To ensure this, we perform more testing on our collagen than anyone else. These tests include collagen concentration, sterility, endotoxin levels, kinetic gel tests in rheology, purity, pH, osmolality, fibrillogenesis, and the electrophoretic pattern via SDS page Kumasi Blue. With narrow specifications for our collagen products, we help to ensure you get consistent results in the lab. While collagen is widely used across 2D applications like coating plates, the human extracellular matrix is a 3D environment. Collagen can be used in 3D applications by following a few simple steps to trigger fibrillogenesis, where a collagen solution turns into a cross-linked hydrogel. There are four key parameters for creating good collagen hydrogels. First, concentration. Typical working concentrations for 3D hydrogels are greater than 1 mg per milliliter for telocollagen and greater than 1.5 mg per milliliter for atelocollagen. Second, pH. The collagen needs to be neutralized to between 7.0 and 7.4. Third, osmolarity. The salt should be isotonic, approximately 300 milliosmoles, typically done using PBS or media. Fourth, temperature. Warming the collagen to higher than 15 degrees Celsius for telocollagen or 25 degrees Celsius for atelocollagen will induce gelation. Finally, cells can be incorporated into collagen gels using several methods, including seeding underneath the gel, embedding within the gel, or seeding on top of the gel. Some products from Advanced Biomatrix come with a neutralization solution, making neutralization and salt addition a one-step process. PureCol Easy Gel is a 5 mg per milliliter preformulated collagen. All you do is incubate at 37 degrees Celsius and it will form a gel. Exact protocols for every product can be found online at advancedbiomatrix.com. Stiffness of a surrounding hydrogel can have profound effects on cell morphology, gene expression, migration, propagation, differentiation, lineage specification, self-renewal, and pluripotency. Choosing the right collagen product will allow you to tune the sniffness and porosity of the matrix to truly create an environment that best suits your cells. The two main factors in determining 3D hydrogel stiffness are collagen concentration and whether telocollagen or atelocollagen is used. 
Pyrocol, Nutrigen, and Fibrocol are all type 1 atelocollagen with varying concentrations of 3, 6, and 10 milligrams per milliliter, respectively. The same is true for the telocollagen products, telocol 3, 6, and 10. Graphing the shear modulus of ABM's collagen products versus incubation time yields information about crosslinking kinetics and hydrogel stiffness. Notice that telocollagen hydrogels will polymerize significantly faster and form stronger hydrogels than their atelocollagen counterparts at similar concentrations. Specifically, note the difference between telocol 3 versus purecol, both 3 mg per milliliter, and telocol 6 versus neutrogen, both 6 mg per milliliter. Because collagen is the most abundant protein in the body and associates with the most cell types, it is the most widely used ECM protein across hundreds of assays. Purecol type 1 collagen, a 3 mg per milliliter solution of type 1 atelic collagen, is our most popular product and has been cited in more than 3,000 publications. There are countless assays that utilize Purecol, including the ones below. Other ABM collagen products may be considered if different mechanical properties of collagen are desired. For example, you can use stiffer hydrogels to evaluate changes in cell migration related to the matrix stiffness. Additional ABM products include collagen type 2 through type 4 and Lifeink BioInk, the world's first commercially available collagen BioInk for extrusion-based bioprinting. Advanced Biomatrix offers collagen ranging in concentrations of 2 to 70 mg per milliliter, enzyme and acid extracted from multiple species. These collagen products are available as solutions, pastes, powders, sponges, modified proteins, or bioinks. Advanced Biomatrix is here to support you in countless collagen applications from 2D cell culture to 3D bioprinting. Please reach out to support at advancedbiomatrix.com or visit us at advancedbiomatrix.com to talk to a collagen expert. We're looking forward to pushing the boundaries of science with you.